Humanity, I love you all with all my heart, with all my might. My videos are about love, infinity, creation, energy, because we're infinite love. We're infinite creation. We're infinite energy. This is who we are. This is our nature. Why? Because of the human heartbeat. The human heartbeat gives us life. We wouldn't exist without the human heartbeat. Our primordial instinct to exist is the human heartbeat. So we live because of the human heartbeat. It's the pulse of life, it's the pulse of creation. It generates an electromagnetic field around the human body that powers the brain, that powers the organs so they can function and we can exist, we can be conscious, self-aware, sentient species. And there is no coincidences here. The place where the heartbeat happens is the same place where we love. We love with our hearts. This is where we love. And we exist because of a heartbeat. So we live to love. Nature, the most poetic of ways, is telling us, I'm creating you, so you love. We're a benevolent species, we're a benevolent race, this is who we are, this is our nature. We're a heart-based species, we're a love-based species, we're a heartful species. Our species is here to love, because love is creation, and creation is energy. Why is love creation? Why is love energy? Because of the human heartbeat. Because the human heartbeat is an electro electromagnetic field of creation. It powers the human body. We can measure love at a lab. It has a resonance, it has a radiance, it has a frequency, a vibration. So we create with love because love is energy and energy is creation and we are alive. So we're the proof, biologically speaking, that we are creators and we're here to love. And this is very simple. It, 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 think about it in the most basic of biological notions, reproduction. We make love, so we have children. So we create life, biologically speaking, in that way. And then our instinct is to love our creation. Our instinct is to love our children. So we care, we raise them. And then they become adults and the life, of, life cycle continues. Remember, life is creation and creation is energy. And at the biological scale, we create through love. This is the mechanism. And biological creation, us, our species, offsprings, is not the only creation that we're capable of. That's just the biological meaning. That is the biological starting point. So the species exists. The heartbeat gives us life. So we're conscious and self-aware, and then our DNA gives us the ability to reproduce. So the egg and the sperm come together, the way of a zygote, and life starts there with a heartbeat after a threshold, critical mass is reached. So this is the way it starts, is with a heartbeat, but that's just the very beginning. That's what we're conscious and aware and sentient because of our nature being energy electromagnetic poles, we're like spherical beings. So we're not here just to repro uh, rep re recreate ourselves through procreation. That's just what we do. So the species is here. But what we're really here to do is to love. We live to love and we love to live because it is our purpose to exist, given the heartbeat and our nature, which is electrical, electromagnetic field of creation. So given this very notion that we are electrical and we're energy and we love our creation because we love with our hearts and the love gives us life, the heart gives us life, then that means that our purpose is to have purposeful lives. So we live to love. Why? Because the heartbeat is from the heart and we love with our hearts. And then we love to live. Why? Because we exist to love. That's the reason why we are alive in the first place, to create through love, not only biologically, but also through our actions. So we create, we have free will. This is our nature. Here and now, each of us can take purposeful daily action and manifest free will. And we do that through purposeful daily action because we're conscious, we're self-aware, each of us. We are accomplices. We have an identity and a true self that allows us to make our choices. Because our purpose is to love, have purposeful lives, lives of results, purposeful goals. This is who we are, this is our nature. Purposeful energy, purposeful love, purposeful results. Because we have free will to choose 
our endeavors because of our identity and our true self. Because we have a brain that allows us to think and be self-aware and conscious. So we ourselves as the creator choose our creations. We create with a hat, with a love. We put love behind our actions and we create beautiful things. Love backing our actions and we create beautiful things. Just the other day I was watching the All Blacks. This is New Zealand's uh, pride and joy. This is a beautiful sport, rugby. And you can see the team, all the players. They love what they do with all the hats. They love the sport because it represents much more than just the sport. It represents who they are. It represents their purpose, the reason why they live, the reason why they exist. And each of those players out there matter it's not if it's the women's team or the men's team, but matters is the fact that they made it to the team because it was in their heart. It was their purpose. You see their purpose. They chose with a free will, with a love for themselves, with their self-love to take purposeful daily action and make it to the very top, the very elite of sport when it comes to representing who you are and your values and when you stand for. So they made it through their free will, with a heart. They loved every single training session, every single workout, every single sprint, every single lesson, since the moment they were conscious and self-aware enough to understand the value of what it takes to become an all black. What it takes to become a representative of this notion, this collective dream of what the ABs are. So if you think about it from that notion, it was each person's, each true self, each individual's free will that allowed them to take the purposeful daily action required, the management of the time and the energy, so they could make it to the team and play the way they did just a few days ago. You see, there again comes full circle. It's this notion of who we are, our identity and true self guides our actions, proving free will through purposeful daily action. So I just wanted to use that as an example so people understand that we are here all in the same boat. We love with our hearts because it's a nature to love and we love our creations. So kudos to the All Blacks for the victory and for what they have achieved. So that's just an example. I just wanted to mention that out there as an example of free will through purposeful daily action. So it's the individual who made the choice when they were little to say, I have a dream and my dream is gonna come true. And my dream is to represent the old blacks. Wear the shit, put the jersey on, do the haka and represent and do what I do best, which is to play rugby. So, and that's all because of free will. That's all because of action. That's all because of purposeful daily action. And this is a beautiful notion because that's just an example of elite sport. But that can be applied across the board at all levels of creation. You don't have to become an all black to be at the top of your game and to, to be the best that there is. Yes, you're a great example. You're a great leader. You're a great defender. When you are able to wear the jersey and represent this union. But beyond that, that's just an example of purposeful life, peak experience. But we all ourselves, all humans, all individuals have the ability to reach purposeful lives, even though we all not all gonna make it in the final list of becoming an all black. We all not gonna be on that list. But we all have dreams and aspirations and this is the whole notion of it the whole notion is that through our free will and our purposeful daily action we can make our dreams come true no matter how far away and difficult and hard they seem at first to our visions of who we are but beyond that idea the fact that we have the vision and our truth of energy tells us that we can do it through free will and purposeful daily action, that's what matters. And that's why we take action. That's what we're all compass. No matter who you are, no matter where you're born, no matter anything 
outside was obvious and in front of us, which is our nature, the human heartbeat, our free will, our love for ourselves, starts with self-love. Understanding that we all are compass and we all sundials. We all get in sync with the sunlight. It's our choice whether we do it or not. It's our choice to face our fears. It's our choice. Each, of, each and one of us have a heart. And because we all have a heartbeat that gives us life, we all have what it takes to face our demons, to face our fears, to face adversity and the challenges in front of us so we can have the strength and the bravery and the courage to pursue our dreams and become who we're meant to be. This is our nature and this is who we are. And we do that by sinking in as sandals. We gain the courage and we gain the strength required to face adversity, face the fears, and become who we all meant to be, which is our dreams, our visions of ourselves. Manity, I love you all with all my heart and all my might. This is who I am and I would always be. I'm here just as an example, because I love you all. No matter who you are, no matter where you're from, I love you all with all my heart and all my might. Today's video is about flow states, flow states. It's about flow states and you can always refer to the visual on the website, on Substack and on YouTube by visiting y.how slash flow hyphen states. That's y.how slash flow hyphen states. So you can always refer to the visual. So I'm going to read it because it's text and then I'm going to talk about it. So what's flow states? Flow states. Well, flow states is exactly that. It's a state of flow. So we have defined it in many ways, in many ways, in the past, many ways. Some terms are eureka moment. A eureka, this state that you reach as a human. An aha moment. It's a euphoric state. An aha moment is that peak state when a revelation happens, a breakthrough happens. At the, the, the idea comes full circle, complete information, and you can create beautiful things. Smooth operator states. It's a smooth operator. You're flowing your actions are flowing because we are flow, we are energy, and we flow without emotions, our emotions, we flow with them, we love what we do, we flow with the actions, and we find what it takes, the energy, and we do what, it, what is required of us, so that's a smooth operator, someone who's capable of reaching that state, that flow state that allows them to have eureka moments, aha moments, revelations, and breakthroughs, through their work, through their love, through their craft, whatever that purpose is, because the purpose is unique to each of us. The, this is, again, part of the original conversation of free will. We choose. We all, our purpose is to have purpose of life because we live to love and we love to live. This is the human race. We have a heartbeat. We are energy. We are conscious and we are creators. But our creation is up to us, up to the individual, because we all have an identity and a true self. And we choose what we create and what our purpose is. And this is exactly what this next idea is, which is next gear mindset. So not getting jammed, not getting jammed. You see, not getting stuck and not getting stuck on fear, suffering and pain and all these low vibrations. But understanding that we have a next gear mindset, all of us, we can move to the next level. All of us can move to the next level. That's why we're smooth operators, all of us. All of us, it's not such a thing as us and them. It's all of us, a union, all of us, a union. So it's all together, all of us, the human race. So Neski, a mindset not getting jumped is a fundamental one because it allows us to understand that we are flow, we are in movement. So we always get to the next gear, which is the next action, which is the next purposeful daily action. It's the next step, it's the next step towards full integration. It's the next step towards making our dreams come true. 
this is what it is and this is the always the way it would always be all happening flow states all these all these ideas all these notions all eureka aha moments revelations and breakthroughs smooth operator and next gear mindset not getting jammed all happen in flow states it's a state that we reach because we are energy all of us are energy we're life spherical beings we're purposeful beings this is our nature and because we are energy and we are energy in the flesh we are biological we have hearts and we feel with our emotions so it's about being in flow with our emotions feeling good you go out on the field you're at the pitch and you have a good time with your mates you're feeling good you see that's flow you're feeling good it's a positive energy and you're flowing while you're playing because flow is that is motion is energy so it's all together as one all happen in flow states so purposeful daily flow states this is a fundamental notion is is like purposeful daily action if you take action every day and you have you take purposeful daily action then that means you're going to have purposeful daily flow states because action is movement is motion is feelings is all together as one so we all going to have purposeful daily flow states as long as we take purposeful daily action so we can have a purposeful life purposeful goals purposeful results purposeful energy purposeful love because this is who we are we'll have a heartbeat this is our nature no matter who you are and your background and your wisdom i spoke about it is the 10th dimension your principles your beliefs your ethics your morals all these different notions that are there to you to choose because you have free will and no one's stopping you from having those beliefs all your beliefs your principles your values your morals your ethics your wisdom and much more within that dimension of wisdom whatever that dimension represents all of us have it and we choose that with our free will and our true self and whatever that is you put it into motion through your actions so you enter daily flow states daily flow states and this is a fundamental fundamental notion because a purposeful life is what we all aim for all humans that's a state it's a peak experience it's a pinnacle of life purposeful purposeful life all of us purposeful daily flow states so and that is achieved through focus on here and now we are focused on here and now when you are playing the your the focus is on the ball on the ball and the ball is here and now the ball is not there the ball is here and now that's where your eyes are with the ball you stay on the ball eyes on the ball whoever you are no matter your position and your role eyes on the ball which is the here and now the flow the movement and that applies in life in our life not only at at the game level but life's level life's level here and now the moment the present moment this very moment that you have in front of you focus on that very moment whatever that is it doesn't really matter because we have free will and we choose with our actions so it's whatever is in front of you whatever is right in front of you in front of your eyes that is the ball that is the here and now that's the moment that's what you ought to focus on because when you do that purposeful daily flow states kick in next gear mindset right in place smooth operator you start to flow with your emotions you feel good and your actions are in alignment with who you are your true self and your identity and your purpose so it's all connected your time and energy management happen as a result of your focus because your focus your mind energy is focused on taking action so you can tap into your true self energy and guiding your your your, ta- your daily action your true self guides your action your purpose guides it highest state you can reach is your true self energy and you do that by being focused here and now free will dreams come true right now here and now through daily purposeful action so essentially i'm gonna make a few comments on the things that happen as a result of being focused on here and now entering this flow state purposeful daily flow state 
So the first thing that happens is that your prefrontal cortex, the part of the, the frontal lobe of the brain, this part, the rational side of the brain, it shuts down. The inner critic shuts down. That part, the uh, thinker, shuts down. When you are in flow, you don't think, you act. You act. That's why practice and training allows you, your body, to kick in into that next gear. So you just flow and very quickly move. That's one of the notions that um, the coach, the old blacks coach was referring to yesterday. Um, he was saying that you have to be quick, fast with your transitions and your movement. And you achieve that through training. Because you don't think about it. It's something you don't think. You just do. You're not thinking about the training. You're just acting in the moment here and now. And then the flow happens and you start to achieve what you ought to achieve which is a flow. So the, that, the inner critic, you get shuts down. The prefrontal cortex is out of operation. So you actually in flow states. So the inner critic shuts down. No thinking, just action. Action. Then the mental chatter goes away. All these background noise, all these, the shadow, all these unconscious, all these fears. It all goes away. It all goes away. Why does it go away? Because his distractions, his mental chatter, his nonsense, his things that don't matter. Because what matters is here and now, the moment. So matter, mental chatter goes away. It doesn't distract you anymore. You're focused. And then the voice in your head, that voice, that inner critic, the, the chatter, the mental chatter, all these, the voice, you know, that, the little voice. In your head is silent it's not there pestering you so you can actually flow and you move and do what you're supposed to do so you are liberated you are liberated all this stuff is shut down gets disintegrated it doesn't take part of it you are in flow you are one with flow you are one with flow so when you are one with flow you are one with flow, all happen in flow states, purposeful daily flow states, focus on here and now. You are liberated. So your true self energy takes full control of your actions. Your free will is manifested because going back to the all blacks, all those boys, this also all black women, but the game just a few days ago was the boys. So all those boys get liberated and the true self energy kicks in into gear because they don't have all this fear, all this distraction, all this mental chatter, the inner critic, the voice in the head is silent. The prefrontal cortex, the frontal lobe of the brain gets shut down. No rationality, no thinking, none of this. It's just action so they can perform because the true self, they made their dreams come true by becoming who they wanted to be with their free will. They fought hard to become, to make it to the team and represent. So now they all are liberated as one. Total liberation. None of these nonsense, not the fees, none of that. It's just pure instincts flow because they are built. The purpose is to that, to do that, to be liberated, to play at the best and do what they can because the truth of energy allows them because it guides the actions, because this is who they are, their dreams is to be an all black, and that they playing in the moment, so they can be who they are with their hearts, loving what they do, and they create the most beautiful plays and the most beautiful actions as a result of here and now, the focus. So you are liberated. You are liberated. Ego banishes, that's another one. All the ego, all the thinking, all these things that we all humans have in our minds, it, they, it gets banished, it banishes, it goes away because you don't have a prefrontal cortex no more. At that state of flow, you're not, you are in flow, you are in a high level of performance, you have peak experience, purposeful life, purposeful daily flow state, you are in the moment, you're nowhere else but here and now, you are liberated. You're taking the right actions. You're in flow with your teammates. You're in flow. If it's not a game set, a setting, life, whatever you do. And then you ego banishes. So there's no, it's not who. It's just the action. Why, how? Why are we doing this? Because 
This is our purpose. And how do we go about it? Through a truth of energy, we get it done. This is the why how. There's no need to think about who. No ego. You see, it's just the result. Ego vanishes. And then as, as a result of all these, free from self-doubt and self-criticism, all this self-criticism, all this self-doubt, all this low vibration, all this low energy, it goes away. You're free from that. You're free from that. You're free from all this stuff because you are one with everything in that very moment. You are here and now. Nothing else matters. You are liberated. You are liberated. So that's how it works and the way it would always be. So, and the most beautiful part of this all is that fear no longer controls you. Fear no longer controls you. Fear is a low vibration. Low vibration, it can be measured. It paralyzes. It's in action, you know. So, it's, it's well studied. So, um, when you are in a state of flow, purposeful daily flow states, fear no longer controls you. It's not such a thing as fear being in control because you are one with everything. You are one with flow. You are creating here and now true self energy. So this is what it is. This is what obviously today's video uh, was all about using the old blacks as an example of greatness, as an example of leadership, as an example of defenders, as an example of free will and true self and identity and compass because that theme is an example of peak experiences an example of a purposeful life at all levels this is the pinnacle of life when it comes to that sport which is a sport cherry uh cherished by all of, all of us so it's a loving sport so it's a beautiful thing and we all love it because we all have a heart. So we all in it. And um, I wanted to use that example because it's sport and sport is about motion and motion is about energy and, and that's what flow is. And because we have hearts, you know, it's all connected in the game. You know, you watch a, a footy game and, and it's all about that. It's about the heart, it's about the emotion, the next play, you're connected, you're one with everyone. The, so it's the flow, it's a flow state. And it's a beautiful notion. And I love the old blacks. And they're playing soon again. And yeah. So good game, boys. Um, so yeah. So that's today's video. It's about flow states. And what it represents. It represents us. It represents our nature. Flow, remember, is the sixth primary element of compass and who we are. Humanity, I love you all with all my heart. And all my mind. My videos are about love, energy, creation, infinity, because we're infinite creation, infinite energy, infinite love. This is who we are and who we always be. This will never change. This is our nature. Why? Because of the human heartbeat. Please refer to this video uh, on all my channels, uh, YouTube and Substack and on the website. Uh, but you can refer to this slide if you want to see the actual visual on y.how slash flow hyphen states. That's y.how slash flow hyphen states. Love you all with all my heart, with all my mind. I will be making more videos today. Love you.